Oh, uh, why are you out here? Basically, um, I'm an American first, but I'm also Jewish. So I've dealt with a lot of anti-Semitism, which is the same thing as systemic racism for you being a person of color. And I'm very disheartened with the way that money always seems to be the root of all evil. And in this case, corruption in the mayor, where he is setting his own personal agenda to take the people's history and art and remove them to his friend's plantation to make money. The root is always money. And I feel for this gentleman up on the statue named Beauregard, General Beauregard, because he was a Creole man. He was born in St. Bernard Parish, and he served his state. He started the Louisiana National Guard. So after Katrina, when they rolled in, that's him. He helped. He started it, founded it. He was second in his class at West Point. I don't know, did you go to school? So do you know how hard it is to be second in the class? I wasn't second in my class, by any stretch of the imagination. He was an engineer. He was an engineer. He helped establish the waterways and bayous. He helped establish the streetcars. He also played a major part in the Robert E. Lee circle uh, dedication and planning of it. And the reason why he did that is because in the war between the states, or the Civil War, there were two fractions. You had the United States fighting the Confederate States. And everybody says it's about slavery. Now, slavery was a huge institution in our, in our economy. What people fail to realize, within that slavery institution, there was money being made. And those money went to the banks in the North. You had people in the North that were slave traders. Because the U.S. flag was the slave, that was the flag of the slave ships, not this flag. And as you well know, when George Washington fought the British for independence, or when even when the British were here, when the Spanish occupied, or the French occupied, they were slaveholders. Creole slaveholders, black slaveholders, white slaveholders, Indian, Native American. And that also, in that, with the, with the oppression of that institution, you also have in history other oppressions like the Japanese internment camps after World War II. In World War II, you have the Chinese laborers for the railroad, for slave labor. You have indentured Irish servants. You have human trafficking now. Girls that are 15 that are accosted and, and are in hotel rooms on heroin as, as sex slaves. You have in Rwanda genocide now of people of color in Africa. There's plenty of places still in Africa where they're being oppressed and I don't see Jay-Z, Beyonce you know there's something called black flight as well as white flight meaning during segregation when they integrated whites would leave neighborhoods or in Boston there was a riot in the 70s where the, by the whites were firmly against blacks being integrated in in, you know, in schools. This happened all over the country, not just in the South. But in the Southland here in America, people integrated better. Or they, they got along better, believe it or not, which you might not believe this, during segregation because there was a middle class. Blacks had their own schools. Of course, they were dilapidated, and that's what they were fighting for rights for in the Civil Rights Movement, was for equal, you know, better pay for the teachers, you know, safe for the churches. But as solely oppressed as, it's, as it appears to be now in the narrative, there was a middle class. Blacks had houses, blacks were not high on the welfare, yeah, as much in the welfare system, or, you know, being kept down by the welfare system, or, you know, in, incarcerated by nonviolent offenses, which we know is a major problem with black America, being incarcerated for nonviolent offenses. All of this stems from culture clash and forcing races or cultures not races cultures to be forced to live on one another but if you go up to like new york and certain areas go to, even if you go to san francisco you've been to chinatown yeah i really you, used to live in san francisco well, there you go are the chinese racist because they have chinatown no it was a culture that put them in that neighborhood just as the italians have little italy because they knew it's culture creoles the blacks same thing here but because of the because of the institution of slavery, the fight of it, 
people are now changing the narrative to fit the means and the ways to profit off the blood of those ancestors. Whether the ones that fought, that were not slaveholders. And these people either were constricted or drafted to serve. So it was a major, major uh, amount of bloodshed, right, wrong, or different between Union and Confederate, that they're all Americans that served and died. But we're 150 years removed from that. And we have no idea. I mean, 98% of the people I speak to aren't even familiar with the war between the states. All they know is slavery, racism. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the worst part being Jewish is I hear I'm a Nazi because I stand for the Jews that served for the Confederacy 150 years ago before there was an Adolf Hitler and the Third Reich. That was 1933 to 1945. And a genocide of people, of blacks, Jews, gypsies, anyone who was right wing and didn't agree with the socialists of the Nazi party were killed, were gassed. And people are not moving on with history and on Confederate American veteran memorials, it says, lest we forget. And on U.S. memorials, it says, lest we forget. Right. But we're all forgetting. Because thinking ripping down this guy is going to fix systemic racism and anti-Semitism. And it's not. It's in your hearts and minds. True. And it's sad. Do you think that... Um, I mean, I think you answered it. But do you think that these kind of symbols betray something negative for for instance um i went to thurgood marshall middle school and it used to be called Beauregard, and they changed the name because it was a majority black school named after i have a Beauregard. question have you checked the statistics is anybody getting any better grades because they changed well the name? that was a while back because but um, i'm asking you i wonder what the statistics are because they did that in florida nathan bedford forest and the statistics are they're not any better grade schools or grades you see you have but to hate I, the ideology not the symbol well i want to get to symbol but i think it's it's because it's as a black person it's tough to attend a school that's named after someone who you know used to used to own slaves you know and what he did. enslaved people i mean Guess and what? fought for a side of of Guess the what? he had didn't have slaves so you're wrong Hmm. Well, well he, he fought for the Confederacy, which well, so was I, for... So fought for the Confederacy doesn't mean he was a slave holder, he was an abolitionist. I didn't say it, that means that. I'm saying that... So he did, but it was two years of his life. He lived here 75 years. What about... What but about, usually you fight for either... No, you don't. No, you don't. I they didn't, didn't even fight, finish my sentence. They didn't fight for personal reasons. They fought because they were, A, for a paycheck, which is 98% right. of the reason why. Which is a personal reason. What were they going to do, starve? Some people starve. I'm saying sometimes people think they, what they believe is more important than money. What about the free people of color that own slaves? What about them? They fought. They don't have a statue. I, I'm not asking yeah, about them. Yeah, they do. Where? Yeah, they do. Go to Florida, where Anna Kingsley, who's a Spanish free person of color, who's, in, who's under Spanish rule, had 250 slaves and 35,000 acres. Yeah, there's a statue of her at a plantation. I don't think that's right either. But. I understand. I'm just saying, I don't, I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying, well, I mean, you know wow. what? to be honest, I'm quite enamored with the fact that she was very successful in her time in her era. And people should be proud of the fact that that was the era and she was successful instead of putting her down for it. A, a free woman of color to own that many slaves, to be that successful, to but be revered. That doesn't mean it's right that well, you what? own it's, people. It's easy to pass judgment 150 or 200 years later. You're not well, in Well, I people. can't, I can't. I'm not in that time. Well, there you go. So it's easy to pass judgment. But as but someone with the time, ancestors, starving, but I have alive. ancestors who were in that time, who were owned, well, who... You never spoke to them, so you don't know exactly how they truly felt. I've you're read their letters. I've, you well, know, that's all I can do. Well. But, I mean, all of us are speaking from, I think, not experience. <laughs> so it's well, hard to are, say that. as if they do have experience rather than having empathy that we weren't there and we should not be passing judgment either way. I'm not justifying slavery. No, I don't I'm think Jewish. you are. I don't think you are. My whole religion is based on 5,000 years of slavery. Or, you to know, me, it seems like you are more it's about history, history Thank than you. Thank you. necessarily saying it's right. But I think that the other side, at least what I've I'm understood, is that we shouldn't 
highlight such a dark time in history and then people say but if we don't we're not highlighting it this has been here for 120 years I know. you have a mayor that wants to make money putting it on a slave plantation make money off of it and now all of a sudden it's a big deal to him. you've had four black mayors mm-hmm. nobody worried about these statues black mayors they were sure they had ancestors that were enslaved too they didn't have a problem with these statues but now a white mayor is going to profit off your people again he's profiting off of you He's going to move these to a slave plantation to make money off your ancestors, which is hilarious. So he's removing it to make money off your blood of your ancestors. So so this is my next question. So how do you feel about that? What? So oh, I, I, I dislike that. I mean... Well, there you go. That, but I mean, this is my next pathetic, question. He's, he's trying to call it unity, but he's profiting off the dead ancestors by making money and charging admission when this is a city work of art. Now, your ancestors, he's profiting off the blood of them. Modern day. So that's okay. What's the importance of symbols to you? I don't believe in symbols. I believe in the ideology behind it. And if it's evil, for instance, the swastika. Mm-hmm. I don't hate it. I don't hate it whatsoever. It's a beautiful, was once a beautiful sun symbol. Yeah. Of ancient times. It's a beautiful symbol. And to be honest, if the Aryan Brotherhood wanted to go wave a Nazi flag, I'd be like, I know Hitler's dead. I don't hate him. I don't easily get offended. That's a problem with, 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 with the kids today. Go to Syria and see what see. Go to real countries that have oppression now, and then come back and talk to me if it hurts your feelings. When women are raped, and women are and men are, I I, I see, we're so far removed from the truth of how other countries right now are living, and we're Americans and we're supposed to be free, and we're not. But just that doesn't mean we don't have oppression in our own you know right what are you talking about i'm talking How about are you so oppressed you got clothes you got food you yes get a but job. you you you're not being held down I? by a master i'm not being held down by a master but not Africa many people right are now. how come you're not helping your people in africa that are who there? says i'm not well there are quite a few that aren't yeah they but want to start trouble here and not be proactive. I'm just talking about Yeah, and I understand that. And I'm just saying that be more proactive. someone else's oppression doesn't erase your own. Like you can have oppression you in yourself. Oh, and I that agree. doesn't That's mean on that. You. That's a psychological issue on you. Yeah. It's called cognitive behavioral therapy. The thought you have creates the emotion you feel. If I said that if the sky was green and you don't like it, you're going to get all offended. That's on you. If you're looking at an inanimate object and you it, it's, it's, it's catastrophically affecting you emotionally, that's on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's called tough, you know, I, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. It was like you were saying and I'm just earlier. As and my people are just as oppressed or more than oppressed than people of color. My people go back 5,000 years of oppression. Hmm. You know, Moses part in the Red Sea. We forgot about that because nobody really pays attention to the Bible anymore. I don't know about that. But um, what was I about to say? I was about to say something to what you were about to say. No, but I mean, I understand um, your point. But Yeah, when you were talking, that's what it was. When you were talking about the systematic oppression, like that's that you happens. You don't understand. That inanimate object is not... Oh, causing. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying we when we were talking dialogue. about the oppression and how can I be oppressed if I have clothes and things like that. No, I mean, still... I'm not saying that's material goods. I mean psychologically oppressed. It's still on you as a human being that has a functioning mind whether you allow yourself to be oppressed. Yes, but some things are from history. Like, some things... Honey, I don't care. It's like, you can't, you can't say, well, if you don't care about history, why are you here? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you put it in its place as history. You put it in its place. I'm not wearing this flag because I think the South is going to rise again or I want slaves again. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. What it is is because there's, there are 12,000 Jewish ancestors that fought... And they're being denounced and they're American veterans. They're American veterans. Right, wrong, or indifferent. They fought for what they believe in and they're Americans. This is not the Korean War. This is not the Vietnam War. This is not World War II. This is not Afghanistan. This is the American Civil War. American against American. And they're all, by U.S. Congress, considered American veterans. And it's an absolute disgrace that a modern 20-year-old is oppressed because of an American fighting an American that they weren't present for? I'm sorry. I, I strongly disagree. 
disagree. I disagree. I understand. I'm just, I was just answering about the oppression you, right, and, and the of, systematic. I mean, we're agreeing, it we're doesn't just agreeing. end when you're, you know, like now it's not just over. You know what I mean? Funny, it's, it's not because of this guy on the horse. I didn't, I didn't. You know what I'm that. saying though? I'm, I'm just going and along with our conversation. Confederate, right, but right. that's not also because of a Confederate battle flag either. And, and I'm not saying that. I, I actually wasn't even on the flag or anything. But I, mean, I just was going along but with I'm our just, conversation. No, but you know? I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just giving that as a principle, like just as an analogy, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I, you know, to be honest, in theory, I really don't care. Because I know it's in its place in history. But what I do care about is the fact that it's American history and it's a part of the fabric of who we are. And you're gonna take out 1861 to 1865 when the Confederacy had slavery, but yet, we're keeping the U.S. Capitol that Abraham Lincoln used black slave labor to build. Why aren't we dismantling the Capitol right now? Why aren't you oppressed when you see the U.S. Capitol? It was oh, I, labor. I, I was actually, but that's Did a whole nother. That? I went to D.C. and I, every monument, I was like, you know, but so wait, uh, you so know, there you but, go. But now, right? But now, so let's really talk about this. In reality, just knocking all these monuments down. That means, you know what? If he wants to be relegated to a museum, then Dr. King should be relegated to a museum. Why do you say that? But why should he stay? Why should he stay and not be relegated to a museum in America? Well, no, listen carefully. Okay. Why should he stay out in the public view on public land and not relegated to a museum for George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, uh, Andrew Jackson, Stonewall Jackson, George Patton, Colin Powell, any other American general that served should be all relegated to a museum. Or you're going to nitpick who, she, who stays and who goes. If one goes, it all goes. And in that case, we're broke. Because you know how much it would cost to, to, to break down institutions of colleges that are all built on slave labor, both in the North and the South? Oh, a lot. That means Harvard's gone. Yale's mm -hmm. gone. UVA's gone. So let's just tear it all down because people's feelings are hurt because it was built on slave labor. I mean, reality, how are you going to fix it? Unless you fix it in your heart and in your mind. Do you understand? I understand that. I, I don't think that it's this... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love it. I mean, in a bad way. Somebody did it like it should say more. I don't know what you're talking about. The sign. Well, the sign. Oh, oh. I actually love that. <laughs> I mean, the, on, on the... TV today, we put, it's a vote of the people. So that was not a vote of the people. No, no, no exactly. The exactly. It's the six goddamn people in this whole city right. to tell us. I pay $5,000 in property tax, and that asshole is going to tell me this? Yeah. I don't really care. Are y'all mind on taking on. a picture in front of it? Go ahead, sweet boy. No, yeah. one yeah. of y'all mind taking a picture. Oh, I won't. No. I mean, I don't care one way or another. I mean, I bet, I bet. It was just he didn't get a vote. On. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I've talked to all those 10,000 residents that say the same thing. Storm your mayor's office like they did in Egypt or Syria. Take it to the man. <laughs> take it to the man. Don't take it lying down. Right. It's up to you, the citizens, to stand up. Stand up. Baby, every time I try and stand up, he taxes me more. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not funny. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It is. It is. It's a disgrace. 